In San Diego tonight, the plight of the Haitian people brought local musicians together for a benefit concert. KUSI's Sasha Poo is in the newsroom with that story. Sasha. Alan, music is often praised as a universal language. Tonight in Solana Beach, we saw how music also gives voice to a trait which may also be universal, a heartfelt desire to help those in desperate need. With every note, with every phrase, with every song, musicians like Alan Singer and Dane Terry are reaching out to the people of Haiti. I think it's important for us to have to reach out to those that have not. Six musicians took the stage at the Belly Up Tavern in Solana Beach. All agreed to donate their talent and time to raise money for Haiti relief. Some have personal reasons. Part of my family is Jamaican, and I have an aunt that is actually Haitian. Others say they are moved by a simple desire to help. Most of us live a life of fair, fair amount of comfort, and it doesn't take much to spend an evening playing music to raise money, and it's the least I could do. One musician joked, I'm no Rockefeller, so I'm not good for a lot of money. But as artists and performers, they do have another gift, a priceless one, the ability to inspire and connect. The greatest privilege of an artist is to connect with an audience and to connect with the world that, that he's in and, and, and help be sort of a conduit to interconnect people with, with that. With more than 200,000 people dead and as many as half a million homeless in Port-au-Prince, there is no end in sight to Haiti's suffering. In the language they know best, these musicians remind us compassion knows no season. Our compassion can't quit. Don't give up hope. Uh, and, and for those of us that are fortunate enough to live in this country, um, realize that and, and pass it along. You know, the art wouldn't be relevant if it wasn't connected to the world we live in. See, from tonight's Hearts for Haiti concert go to the San Diego American Red Cross and its Haiti Relief Fund. In the newsroom, I'm Sasha Fu, KUSI News.